I have an artist that is full of the good stuff, Linda Franklin. I have had so much joy in meeting you and just peeling away the layers to expose just the goodness that, you know, that goes beyond the art that you create. Linda, you've been on this journey with this digital marketing program that on behalf of Tourism Tribe and Tourism Midwest Victoria have put on over the last four months. Mm -hmm. So firstly, I would love to ask you, what have you found in this journey, not only in this particular program mm -hmm. from a digital mastery perspective, but mm -hmm. also someone relatively green in the visitor economy space mm -hmm. when you've achieved mastery in your art world. Mm -hmm. If you could share with me some of your key insights that you've had over the last little while. Gosh, so many. Um, well, firstly, thank you. And I um, just want to thank Ballarat City Council. I know that sounds daggy, but um, unless these programs are enabled and offered, individuals like myself actually don't know what's possible. I really don't know what's possible. Um, I have felt very confident and comfortable in the art therapy, welfare, um, uh, disability sector, the service, the carers sectors. Uh, as audiences for both product and service, um, I felt like I've, you know, I've known they've they've been my comfortable audience for the last few decades. Um, the visitor economy, in many ways, is is similar, but approaching them is completely different. Now, I want to ask you, working in uh, as a small business leader. Mm -hmm as a small business owner, manager with responsibilities, mm. where we're taking on a lot and then suddenly mm. an opportunity to give up mm. three hours of your day for workshops, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, we've got digital engagement, health checks, you've got the full gamut. Mm. Now, there were places open to a limited number of people. Mm. What would you say to any other small business leader that these opportunities will come in their inbox? What are they missing out on when they don't seize these opportunities mm. through the experience that you've had? Yeah, I think every small business owner feels time poor. And especially if you're just a you're solo practitioner and or just a very small team, uh, time is incredibly valuable and there's never enough hours in the day. Uh, yet another invitation to join a program can, I think, sometimes be like a threat to how that time is consumed. And certainly I felt, can I afford this time? Because it feels very indulgent um, to kind of invest. But, you know, it's, it's like all these things. I, I mean, I know, I, I sense that, oh, if I go into that world, I know it will be valuable. But what are, what are my hesitations? Can I afford that time? And I chose to step forward to go to make this time uh, and of course I, it, I, I knew it would be valuable and it absolutely is valuable it it opens it opened me up to things that of course I did not know I did not know I didn't know it was there I didn't know what it was a priority for business it just recalibrates um, important you know when you when you're working by myself I have my list of um, to do's and um, what seems priority and of course this shifts the priorities and whether I'm comfortable with those shifts is another thing but it's really important to hear what's important what's uh, useful and essential from say for example Google Analytics or getting the Google reviews getting the Google profiling uh, just all those that were not my priority uh, and then to go from a to be shaken up and going, yeah, from a user's viewpoint, from your customer's viewpoint, from a, a customer-centric viewpoint, it's essential that you have, that I have all these other um, uh, boxes ticked. Yes. So um, I, knew, I knew it would shake me up and it has shaken me up and it has shifted my priorities and I have to roll with that. <laughs> <laughs> Whether I want to or not, no, I know, and I really appreciate it. I Like I've, I knew I needed those professional insights and industry overview insights 
because I know I can't see them from my little yeah. um, viewpoint. Yes. So I, I knew it would be true and it absolutely has been opened my brain on so many levels. So, um, yeah, no, Tourism Tribe, it is just the reading the website is a rich, dense resource. So let alone attending um, workshops and then one-on-ones, mm. it's like gold. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I leave feeling like I have this vast feast to, that I can just take little bite-sized pieces from. Ooh, that's um, um, because of, you know, indigestion's never, it's never fun. But um, <laughs> it's, to know those resources, it's, re it's a reminder of where the resources are. Yes. So that I don't feel isolated in this journey. But of course, all I can do is little, little bits at a time. Yeah. Um, that then clears space to enable the flow, um, you know, the, the business flow. So, um, mm, that's, it's gold. That's gold. It's gold. Mm. Oh, no, and, and it really is. So, uh, because it re, it re uh, sorts priorities. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, well, you're a delight. I've loved having you in the room. I love working with you one-on-one. -on -one. You. You're a delight. Mm. You're a great soul. Mm. And, uh, and even just if you look your website, Linda Franklin Artist. Dot no, lindafranklin.com. Linda Franklin. Yeah. That's of course. Simple. Lindafranklin.com. It's your social handles. Just it's to got. see the videos. Linda yeah. Franklin Artist is your handle. Yeah. Your Instagram and Facebook. So um, thank you. Thanks for taking thank the time to do this. Thanks for being part of the program. And go forth and, and conquer. And <laughs> certainly even, I mean, just seeing the relationships that have formed mm. with other businesses mm. um, has also been a delight. Gold. Absolute gold. gold yeah. Right? Just no, really. being in the room together, getting to know each other. How can we help each other? I've really, really enjoyed seeing that come to fruition. It's what it's all about. We philosophy. You mm -hmm. epitomise that. Thank you.